it's the war hipster here coming at you with another contrast plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the brand new awesome cadian castellan yes here he is it's an absolutely fantastic new kit from games workshop which they sent to me early to build up paint and review for all of you and that is exactly what we have done and what we are going to do in this video you get so many different options in the box i've built mine with a bolt gun and with a sheathed power sword because, come on, you guys know me by now. I love a sheathed weapon. And, well, we're going to jump in and start painting him. He has been primed in Grey Seer, which is slightly different to how we've done the rest of our green Cadians. They've all been done with Wraithbone. That's because I want this guy to be a little bit colder. I want to show you the same recipe over a different primer. And I just kind of want it to stand out a little bit from the crowd, have a little bit more of a sense of authority, and a little bit darker. So... That's the reason why we've done this, and it should look pretty cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use Skeleton Horde first, and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our Castellan's Fatigues. So that skeleton horde applied, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some orc flesh. I'm going to apply this over the top of the Castellan's armour. And this is like our heavy weapons squad. That slightly darker scheme. So don't worry, it's not going to say stay the same. So with that orc flesh applied, he's looking a little bit bright. So what we're going to do now is darken him down and we're going to apply Agrax Earthshade over the top of his fatigues. And with that Agrax Earthshade applied, we then take Militarum Green. We're going to apply this over the top of the armour. So with that Militarum Green applied, what we're now going to do is move on to the next colour, and that is going to be some Black Legion. And we're going to apply this over areas such as the boots, the scabbard, his undershirt, which you can see just under by his neck, the casing of the bolt gun, and his gloves. So with that Black Legion all applied, what we're then going to do is take some Saigor Brown. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of his leather details. So there's going to be areas like his holster, his belt, and straps and things like that. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Saigor Brown and Flesh Terrors Red. We're going to apply this over the top of the scarf. This kind of command sa sash.
You heard me. I was going to say Command Sarge. <laughs> And we're going to apply this over the top of the grip of the power sword and over the top of his cuffs. So with that flesh tear is red and cygore brown mix applied, we then take some gillum and flesh. I'm going to apply this over the top of his face. So with that Gilliman flesh applied, what we're then going to do is take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the mechanical silver details. So there's going to be areas like this on the bolt gun. Well, everywhere that remains on the bolt gun, excluding the decorative features. It's going to include the belt buckles. Things like that. Pistol handle. So with all that silver applied, I'm not actually that happy with how these cuffs have come out. I think they're a bit scratchy. I didn't thin down enough paint or mix enough paint, I should say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brighten them up and I'm gonna use some thins down with fist and red. But what I am happy with is the shading. So I am just gonna apply this over the top of the cuffs and the scarf that's coming down his hip, but not the band around his waist. So with that red now corrected, what we're then going to do is take some Imperial Fist and we're going to apply this to the ends of the scarf, these tassels. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor Armour. We're going to apply this to, well, all of our remaining details and any decorative features you might have painted over. So with that Reichland flesh shade all applied, what we then do is we take some Nuln oil. I'm gonna apply this over the top of the black and all the silver. So with that done, Arcadian Castellan is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. He's already looking pretty fantastic. However, we're not going to leave him there. No, of course not. We're going to take him to the next level, and we're going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're going to add is Screaming Skull, and we're using this to highlight his fatigues. And we've got quite a chunky one here, which is the kind of outside edge, which you would expect. Then we've got the slightly smaller ones, little folds in his cloak and things like that which we also want to pick out. So we're just going to pick out that edge, all of it like that. We're not looking to edge highlight either side of it. Don't you worry about that. Then what we're also going to do, as mentioned, is on the raised folds, we're just going to add a little highlight along the edge. So with that Screaming Skull all applied, what we then do is we take some thinned down Strachan Green. And we're going to use this to highlight his armour panels.
A bit with that Strachan green applied, what we then do is we take some Krieg khaki. We apply this to the sharpest points on all the green armor. So with that done, all of the green armor is now finished. So what we're gonna do is move on to our next color, and that's gonna be the red. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thins down Wazdaka red. We're gonna use this to highlight all of our red details, including that sash. So with that Wazdaka red all applied, what we're then gonna do is move on to the black details. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight these is rust gray. So with that rust grey all applied, what we're then going to do is take some thinned down iron breaker and we're going to apply this as a highlight to all of our silver. So with all of that iron breaker applied, what we're then gonna do is take some Liberator Gold. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the gold. So with that now done, we've just got one last area to work on and that's the face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down flayed one flesh and we're gonna use this to highlight. Just like that. So with that flayed one flesh applied, we then take a tiny diddy amount of Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over the top of his eyeballs. And so with that tiny little black legion dot applied, we then can take an even smaller amount of Screaming Skull. And apply this in the corners of his eyes. So with that done, Arcadian Castellan is now finished. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna very quickly work on his base. And well, I'm gonna do this in the same style as the rest of my bases. And I'm gonna take some Gore grunt of fur. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the soil. Now, as you would have noticed, we've got some really cool little tank tracks in the soil here, but they are tank tracks. It's not like you know, like 
mechanical, it's not a grating or anything like that. That is the depression of the tank track in the ground. This is really cool little detail for these guys. It's also Lehman Rust shaped, which is even cooler. A little bit of a nod back to the faithful tank itself. Not the Primark. <laughs> but then you already knew that. So with that gore grunt of fur applied to the soil, we're then going to take some tar gore raid shade and we're going to apply this over the bricks. And we've got just under here. And with that Targor Raid Shade applied, we're then going to take some Basilicarum Grey and we're going to apply this over the top of the larger rock. With that Basilicarum Grey applied, we're then going to take a little bit of Retributor Armour and we're going to apply this over the top of the bullet casings. And we've got scattered here and there. A couple there at the front. So with all of that Armageddon dust now applied and dry, what we're going to do is take Gorgrunter Fur and we're going to apply this over the top of the Armageddon dust as well as a second coat over the top of the previous Gorgon to fur. Just tie it all together. So with that done, what we're now going to do is dry brush the entirety of the base using some Tyrant Skull. And so with his base all dry brushed, a couple of tufts added here and there, and the rim done in steel legion drab, this Cadian Castellan is now finished. And whilst I really like the model, I don't know where I'm going to use it. <laughs> I mentioned this in the uh, review video, that in a world where Ursula Creed exists, unfortunately this model doesn't have a place in most Cadian armies, but if you don't have a Cadian army, well, it's a Cadian Castellan, so of course it does. Anyway. It's a really, really cool model though, and I uh, really think you could use this to make some really interesting commanders, so looking forward to seeing what you guys do. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.